In the early 1990s, after decades of playing iconic Western heroes, Eastwood directed a film that turned the genre inside out, showing not only the violence, but the corrosive effects of violence on those who perpetrate it. With a script by Bay Area screenwriter David Webb Peoples, Unforgiven has been called Eastwood's anti-Western. Easy, partner. Easy. I see Claudia, too. Well, that's good, Will. That's good to saw Claudia, ain't it? Her face was all covered by worms. Oh, Dad, I'm scared. I, I'm, I'm dying. You, you won't. No, don't tell nobody. Don't tell my kids. None of the things I tell, hear me. Unforgiven won the 1993 Best Picture Academy Award and brought Eastwood his first Oscar as director. It proved to be a turning point in his development as an artist. As he says, I can't chase people across rooftops anymore. So I have to make films that I feel are important, uh, that have a story. I think the stories that Clint chooses to tell, especially the stories of late, are stories of moral ambiguity. As he ripens, if you will, he just continues to be more intrigued, it seems to me, by films of, of consequence. Go, go, get up the bar. At an age when most directors are content to enjoy retrospectives and lifetime achievement awards, Clint Eastwood undertook the most ambitious project of his career. Our target. It's called Iwo Jima. This is Japanese soil, sacred ground. Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima tell the story of one of World War II's bloodiest battles from opposite sides of the combat lines. The two films are proof yet again of Clint Eastwood's willingness to challenge himself and his audience. 33 years later, you're still experimenting. The great thing about being on a movie and, and the great thing about uh, making movies, you're always learning something new on every show. Something new about yourself, something new about filmmaking, and trying things that have maybe been tried before, and maybe some of them haven't. 